Hey guys, Anne here today, and um, we're going to go back into the past for a little bit, and then we're going to come back to the future. Well, back to now, I guess, September 15th. Hey guys, it's September 14th, and um, I just got some gifts for my birthday because um, I hung out with my best friend yesterday, and then today I had my family birthday party. So, yeah, um, I'll show you guys the books I got, I guess. Um, yeah. So first off, my best friend and I, we just kind of hung out, like, downtown, and then we went to the mall. So downtown, we went to, um, a local bookstore, and we saw this book that we both wanted. So I was gonna pay for it, and then she's like, she wouldn't let me leave this little corner of the bookstore until, like, I couldn't get out around her. <laughs> She was completely in my way, and she was like, I'm paying half, so finally I let her pay half, and that book is Let's Get Lost by Addie Allsaid. Um, My friend and I have this little book club that we do, just the two of us, and this is October's pick for us because she really likes contemporary, so that's like all we read, and I'm really excited for this. <laughs> This book is about someone named Layla, who goes to four towns and meets people, and yeah. Next, she got me a Barnes & Noble gift card, and she went with me there, so we picked out books together. Well, the first one we did, the second one I picked out. So the first one we picked up was The Beginning of Everything by Robin Schneider. Um, I don't know much about this. I'll just read part of the back. Oh, jeez. Azariah Faulkner was supposed to be Homecoming King, but that was before his girlfriend cheated on him, before a car accident shattered his leg, and before he fell in love with the new girl, Cassidy Thorpe. I don't know, it's contemporary, and yeah, I like the cover a lot. And then the one I picked out was Sabriel by Garth Nix. Um, I've just been hearing a lot about this lately from Epic Reads, so I decided to pick it up. Like, why not? And yeah, I'm excited. And then she also helped me book out a bookmark, and she saw this one, and she's like, you need this one, so I bought it because I loved it. And it says, eat, sleep, read, and it just has this little tassel thing, and I love it. So I got those yesterday. Then today, um, my family came over, and so yeah, that was fun. Um, my aunt got me Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Um, they only really like classics, so yeah. But I'm extremely excited to read this. I actually asked for this book, and it sounds amazing. I really like the edition I got. It's the pink one, cloth bound, and I, I think it's cool. And then my grandma got me two books. She got, as it falls, she got me Little Women by Louise May Alcott. Um, I saw the movie with my grandma at our house once because my grandma loves this. And there was no way of getting around getting this. Um, she really wants me to read it and I am extremely excited. Not the right word. I am looking forward to see what the book is like that's the right words. <laughs> and then I went with my grandma to Barnes and & Noble and she picked out, and I picked out a book for her to give me for my birthday. And then I didn't get it until today, but I'm so excited. And that is <laughs> the beautiful Alice in Wonderland and other stories by Lewis Carroll. Um, it's just so gorgeous and I love it. And I've been meaning to read this for a while and I just haven't gone around to it, but this is huge. Like, Alice in Wonderland is pretty short, so it's probably, like, that. Or close to it. But I'm 
extremely excited to read this. So yeah, that's part one. Um, now back to September 15th, Anna. Hey guys, Anna here today. Um, I'm sorry I look very red right now. Um, yeah, it may look red outside too, but it's actually like 8 or 7. I don't know. I didn't really look at the time. But yeah, it's September 15th and I just want to show you guys what books I got and yeah, I'm just excited. I guess I'll start with like the non-book items I got that are like book related. I'm not going to show you guys like the items I got that aren't book related, but yeah, I had to show you guys this. I got this Sherlock Holmes little tote and I thought I'd show you because it's Sherlock Holmes. And that's a book. So I got, and then I got this Alice in Wonderland little pencil case. And yeah, I think they're both awesome. Oh yeah, and everything I'm showing you right now is from my parents, I guess. So yeah. I'm also really sorry about this horrible lighting. And then I got a few bookmarks. I got this little book of 12 Monet bookmark. And I've been into art lately, so I got this. I think it's adorable, and I can't wait to use them. <laughs> and then my dad got me um, these little magnetic paint clips. And they're little cute little penguins with snowflakes on the back, and I think they're adorable. I cannot wait to use these either. And then I got one with this bookmark, and this bookmark is this one. And I think it's pretty, and yeah, I like all the bookmarks I got. I like everything I got. It, it was a pretty awesome birthday. So my, okay, so my dad decided to go off my wish list and buy me a few books, which I'm fine with. Because I didn't really care what he got me. And he got me William Shakespeare's Star Wars because, um... When I was younger, I used to watch Star Wars with my parents, and so I think I might have mentioned to him this like a year ago, maybe? I don't know. But I think it's cool. I can't wait to read it. It's really short though, so it's going to like take a day or less. I mean, really. But so excited. And then my mom surprised me with another book that wasn't on my list, but I showed them a few months ago. That is The Complete... Sherlock Holmes by Sir, oh, wait, Star Wars is by Ian, Ian Dosher, yeah, and Sherlock Holmes is by Sir Arthur, uh, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, and this book is massive. It's like City of Heavenly Fire sized. But this has many books in it. Oh, jeez. And the font is tiny. I don't know if you guys can see that. But, yeah. It's gorgeous. I can't wait to read it. And it matches my Sherlock Holmes bag. And then, probably the most exciting thing. I can't even grab it right now because you guys can't see it yet. The most exciting thing that I got was this, and you guys are going to be like, you haven't read that yet. Can't call yourself a true reader then. And I'm going to be like, I've read the first three, but I didn't have the rest. But now I do. And I got the, jeez, this is heavy reason for sitting down today. The Harry Potter box set. And this little cute box. And... Yeah, um, it's basically all the Harry Potter books, um, I'm not gonna take them, I guess I, no, I'm not gonna take them out all by one today, but, yeah, if you guys do wanna see them one by one, I'm sure everyone has them, so you guys probably know those covers, they're the old covers, I didn't really want the new ones cause I wanted hardback. And then my parents took me to Barnes & Noble tonight, and I got 
two books. Oh wait, before that, um, they also got me this Kindle case. I know it's not really a book, but it's a Kindle case. I already got my, I got my Kindle last year for Christmas, and I just needed a case, and I love it, and it's adorable. And yeah. Okay, back to the books I just got. Yeah, okay, so... These two books, um, they let me pick up two, even though I have, like, a gigantic stack that took a little while to cut down on, because I'm like, do I want this one, or do I want this one, or do I want this one, or do I want this one? So it took a little bit, but I knew one I had to get, and that one is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. I had to get this because I pre-ordered The Infinite Sea without reading the first one, and I had hopes that I'd, ooh, that's cool. And I had hopes that I'd get this for my birthday today. And then my parents took me to Barnes and Noble and they're like, okay, you can pick out two books. And I'm like, okay. I got this one and I'm so happy I got it. Um, this is about aliens. Oh, and this is by Rick Yancey. Uh, I really don't know much about this except a lot of people love it. I think Emma wants it. I think that's what she said on her channel. So I can't wait to read this knowing that everyone else loves it and I hope I do too because the covers are really nice. And the last book I got for my birthday is Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. This was the second book I decided to get. I got this because um, Kelly from Kelly Potter Dancer and I, we read Cinder together, and then we've been wanting to read Scarlet together, but I don't have it. Well, I didn't have it. And so, I now have it, and I'm excited to read it. And then I also got an Amazon gift card for my birthday, so that'll be in my September book haul, which might not be that big, because this is a lot of books to read. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, sorry for the terrible lighting. Um, I did want to say thank you for 94 subscribers. I looked this morning and I'm like, 94? Oh my gosh. It's not exactly 100, but I don't care. I love you all. You guys are all amazing. You guys made my day. And, yeah, I think I might still do a giveaway. <laughs> Um, comment below if you guys would like that, because I don't know which book that I should be giving away. I don't know if I should just do, like, a book depository, or if I should buy a, like, have a specific book and then some, send some book swag with you guys. I don't know, um, comment below what you guys would prefer. Um, hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I want to say thank you to Kelly from Kelly Potter Dancer for commenting, I mean for tweet, tweeting at like 12.01 my time a.m. and saying happy birthday to me and that's like 9.01 something there but it was so sweet of you um, you didn't know that I was born at 12.01 a.m. and that was kind of cool and yeah um, but I was born at 12.01 a.m. And I thought it was cool that that was the time that you sent that, and I was so happy. I seriously woke up, and I checked Twitter just to see like, what was going on at the book world today. And Kelly's comment was in my notification, and I'm just like, I was kind of freaking out. I'm just like, that is so sweet. It was so sweet, Kelly. So thank you. And then I also want to say thank you to Emma, who also said happy birthday to me, Emma from Emma Books. And thank you so much. Um, I also want to thank my parents and Elizabeth and my grandparents and my cousins and my aunt and my uncle for buying these books for me. And I don't know, being there for me. Oh yeah. But yeah, um if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Um yeah, 94 subscribers. I still can't get over that. But 94 of you guys want to watch me ramble about books. Yeah. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy reading. Yeah. Bye.